Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. It is early in the morning for me. I need to get ready. I have a bunch of new makeup that I want to play with. So we are going to get ready together today. And if you're new here, I want to say, Hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Now, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I do upload lots of new videos every single week. Five, six, seven videos a week. I mean, tons of new makeup content. So, I want to get ready. I hope you will subscribe, but I've got to put some makeup on. So, let's jump into it. <music> Okay, I will link my skincare down below. My skin is very glowy. That's the <laughs> that's the skincare at work. And I did put on my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I always like to let like my Hydro Grip set on my skin for about a minute before I go in with foundation. Okay, I'm years and years late to the <laughs> Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Party. Everybody used to rave about this foundation. I never bought it, but we're heading into fall. Here where I live, it's still pretty warm outside, <laughs> but we're heading into fall. I was placing a Sephora order and I'm like, let me try this luminous silk foundation that people used to love and rave about. I do have oily skin. If you're new here, hey, I have oily skin. I am 35, so I do have some fine lines, but overall my skin is oily. So I'm going to go in with this Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation, shade 7.8. And look at this sponge. <laughs> I bought these from Ulta. They're the Spectrum Winnie the Pooh sponges. We talked a long time ago in a Judging New Makeup about Spectrum collabing with Winnie the Pooh. So I had to buy this little set. You've got Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore. I mean, there's nothing like Winnie the Pooh on the sponge, but it is yellow. It is cute. I want to put it on. So I'm going to pump this foundation on the back of the sponge and use. Now I have been testing this foundation. I've been using it for I would say like a handful of times now and I think it's a really pretty. Like it it looks like skin to me. I always avoided it because I thought it would be just too glowy. I don't know, the word luminous used to kind of turn me off and just make me a little scared. But I have to say, I think this looks so pretty on the skin. Like, look at that. It just kind of covers my imperfections, covers some of the redness that I have going on. I told you I'm kind of dealing with allergies. Always get a skin rash when the pollen count is super high, but it kind of covered that redness up and it just looks really nice. It definitely doesn't look like a mask of makeup. It looks like second skin to me. Now the wear time on this foundation, I'll have to update y'all on later because even though I've worn it, the most I've worn it for is probably like eight hours or so. So I definitely need to test it out more before I can actually review it. Okay, I bought the new Vive Concealer. This is the Modern Radiance Concealer in Tan 3. I have been loving this concealer. It, it made in Italy, but okay, there's no claims on the bottom. I've been using this as well a handful of times and it's a really beautiful finish. I try to think what it reminds me of and I'm just not sure, but when I'm thinking of the new concealers that I've been trying, like this one, the Charlotte Tilbury, I like this one better. I think it looks really, it has a natural finish to me, not overly dewy, not matte. It covers what I need it to cover. I just think it's, it's really, really been beautiful. So. I like to let my concealer set for a couple of minutes and then I will blend it in and you'll see kind of how it, how it sits on the skin because yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really into this one. 
All right, so that concealer is blended in. It looks so beautiful to me. And I'm so excited because we are gonna be trying, testing for the first time, this Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. Now, I bought the shade Medium. I bought this because my friend Angie here on YouTube was raving about this and saying how beautiful it was, how it's the best cream bronzer at the drugstore, basically. So I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I gotta get that. Now, let me just say, this color is very gray. This color is very gray. I need to get a different shade. Okay, I can tell that right away. Now, every time I talk about bronzer, contour, um, I have people like trying to school me in the comments. I know contour should be cool toned to create a shadow. Bronzer should be more warm to give you a bronze the sun would give. But I just don't like a cool toned bronzer, contour, whatever. I don't like it on myself. This is very cool toned. It looks way too gray on me. I would describe my skin tone as a warm olive. That's what I look for when I'm buying foundations, concealers, things like that. Warm olive undertones. And I just prefer a more warm bronzer. Not saying cool tone bronzer looks bad on me, just for what I prefer with makeup. But with how this is applying, God, it's so cool toned. I don't like that. That's okay. Powder bronzer, I'll warm it up. But the application, this is looking very smooth, not patchy. Y'all saw how easy I blended that in. Like, okay, I'm going to buy this in a different shade. See if I can get a warmer shade. Uh, I'm using an F40 from Sigma to put that on. All right, so let's see. Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer, Ultra Cream Bronzer, shade medium. Way, way, way too cool tone for me. I'm not feeling this, but the formula, good enough. I'm going to buy a different shade. That's what I'll, that's kind of my opinion on that bronzer so far. Now I have a cream or a liquid blush. Lottie London sent me some things. So I'm really excited to try these. These are the Lottie London Sweet Blush Liquid Blushes. I have the shade here. Oh, what shade is it? Where can I see the shade name? Liquid Blush Rouge. I don't see a shade name, Sweet Blush. Is that the name of the shade? I'll link it down below. Everything I talk about, I'll link down below. There's just no, there's no shade name on here unless Sweet Blush is the name of the shade. Okay, I don't love that there's no shade name on here. And I'm gonna put this right here on my cheek. I will say, <laughs> I like going directly from the applicator. If I don't have to warm it up on the back of my hand, I'm not going to. I just don't want to. This is how I like to apply it. I know it makes people angry, but all I can do is do me. You know what I'm saying? So let's see with the sponge how that applies. I'm just pressing it in with my sponge. Not blending, not swiping, just pressing. I don't know this formula, so I think pressing is probably the best way to try it to make sure it doesn't lift product underneath. And it doesn't. I'm not seeing any product lifting. And that looks really, really sheer. Very, very sheer. Sweet blush, liquid blush. All right. Very sheer though, right? But pretty. So if you're looking for some sheer cream blushes, this one could be the one for you. Let's tap it in over here. Okay, it's pretty. It's, yeah, it's pretty. It just took a good amount of product for a sheer-ish result, but I like it. Very, very pretty. Okay, I bought a new powder. <laughs> I bought the... Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder in 4. So this one has the four different shades. And I'm going to use this as an under eye setting powder. But I loved the Givenchy highlighter that I bought. I tried this a couple of weeks ago. I think going to get ready with me. The, the Prisme Libre highlighter. And I loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try one of their 
setting powders. We're going to press this in with a powder puff under the eye. Oh, look, it even comes with a little puff. I don't think I'm going to use that one, though. I like my one that's shaped like a triangle. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. So let me peel this sticker off. We'll tap out some of the powder. We'll see how it looks under the eyes. I have high hopes. I feel like this could go really well or really bad. Okay, so I tapped it out. I don't know if you can tell, but it came out like in the squares too. So I'm going to take my little puff and I'm going to kind of swirl it in there. And we'll see, like I'm gonna mix the three shades up together on my puff. Oh, it looks like there's so much green powder on there. Okay, mixed it together. Ah, that's green! Oh my gosh, my under eye is gonna be green. That's, you know, that's fine if that's what you're going for for the day, but I'm not necessarily going for a green under eye today. Um, is this magic? It, that magic? <laughs> That looks good. That looks good. Am I going, am I going like, are my eyes deceiving me? That looks good, right? Okay, let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. I'm like, got a little nervous at first when I'm like, wow, that's a lot of green. But mixing them together. Okay, that's really pretty. This definitely smells like old person. Listen, I can say that, okay? It smells like old person. It smells like old person, but those results, that's really, really pretty. Okay, that's beautiful. Let me take it down my chin, up on the nose. Let me set a little bit of the forehead. Okay, y'all, I am ultra impressed with this powder. I am very excited to use this again because I think my under eyes look so nice. But I want to set the rest of my face. So let's see. I have the Vive powder. I bought the powder and the concealer together. And I've been testing this. This is the shade Tan. Uh, the Vive Modern Powder Perfector. So what I'm going to do is put this on with a big fluffy brush. I just kind of want to buff it into my skin. I was going to use this unearthly brush, but I want something even a bit more fluffy because I just want to, I just need to set the rest of my face. You know, listen, I'm oily. I rely on powder. So I'm going to take this Sigma F78, just pick up some powder and lightly kind of go over my skin like this. I've been using the Vive powder. I've used it under my eyes. I've used it all over my face. It looks, whoops, oh, I hate that. I just dug my nail in and cut out a chunk of powder. Spilled powder all over my face. That's what I get for filming at 7 a.m. But uh, this powder under the eye, it looks nice. It can be a little heavy. Um, when I use it under the eye, like if I, if I just really set my under eye very lightly with a light brush and just lightly set, it looks fine. But if I use too much, it to me does look a little heavy. Um, but for the rest of the face, I've really, really been enjoying it. I do have two new brow products to try. Uh, ColourPop actually sent me a couple of their products. They sent me their brow pencil. I don't think I've ever tried the ColourPop have I tried the ColourPop brow pencil? Actually, now that I say that, maybe I have. But they sent me the shade Ash Brown. So we're going to try this. Have I tried the ColourPop brow pencil? I don't know. Uh, and then I have Lottie London Arch Revival Microfine Brow Pen. Now, I normally use a pencil and a pen for my brows. I just really like that. I feel like it gives me the look I want. And I've never tried this. This is the Arch Revival Microfine Brow Pen in the shade Brown. 
and it looks like a brush tip, which is what I like. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. Normally I edit this out of videos because I feel like it's so boring to watch, but I want to leave this in since I'm testing new brow products. Okay, I filled in my brow. I'm going to get my Patrick Ta Major Brow Illumination. And I feel like these products worked well. I'm going to have to keep playing with them before I let you know if they're like, you know, a new favorite. Something I'm going to be reaching for all the time. But I'm just going to set them in place. But my first impression is they work just fine nothing like crazy to note okay brows are done i think they look really really nice but i bought the hourglass tiger palette so hourglass launched three of these limited edition holiday palettes they normally do one every year and they did three this year i'm so happy so i picked the tiger one and i picked the palette that goes with it because on the hourglass site like I could have picked, they had tiger, butterfly, and elephant packaging, and then you could pick which shades go in. Now you couldn't pick each individual shade, but there were three different shade, like three different six pans to put in there. So I picked the tiger and the one that went with it because, well, because there's orange blush. Like there's a lot of shades and formulas in here that I know I like and some new formulas, but specifically this shade right up here um, in this tiger palette, this is a shade that I have in another hourglass face trio that I use as bronzer. So I want to use that shade. Let me see what name it is. I'm not sure. I will link it down below. Um, it is Finishing Power Transcendent Light Blush Glow. I'm not sure, but that's the one I'm going to use. I think it is, uh, I think it's the Finishing Powder Transcendent Light maybe. But anyways, I love using it as a bronzer. So I'm going to bronze up the face and then we'll do an eyeshadow look. All right, this is a Sigma F12. And I just really like hourglass face powders for bronzer i have that trio y'all probably see it in lots of video description boxes because i think it looks so pretty and natural on the skin natural in that it's not matte it's not overly glowy not natural in that it looks like you have no makeup on because if you want to look like you have no makeup on um, start by washing your face and that's how you look with no makeup on. <laughs> when I say it looks natural, I mean that it's not a super glowy shimmery bronzer. It's not an overly matte bronzer. It has a second skin like finish in my opinion. And I think it's just really pretty for kind of warming up the face, but I am going to prime my eyes with my Sigma eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we're gonna play with the new Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana palette because I did a video on that palette and I just was not feeling my best. So I only did one look in that video, but I really want to do another look for y'all. So that's what we're gonna play with. Okay, so I primed my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. The first look I did with this palette was very, very colorful. So I think we'll do something with the neutral shades today. I'm gonna go in with this shade, this shade right here this shade those are going to be the main ones that i'm playing with and then i think we'll highlight the inner corner right here so something really simple playing with the neutrals because i told y'all i really wanted to test this palette out i know a lot of y'all let me know that you bought this one um so since i did such a colorful look for my first look i thought let me give y'all something a little more neutral today well a lot more <laughs> neutral because my first look was so colorful but this is just a bk beauty brush it's part of their angie hot and flashy set and i'm just going to buff this and i'm going to wing it out i think we're going to skip false lashes today 
so I'm just going to bring this out a bit. See how far out I'm blending? Way, way fall out, far out, almost to my temples to drag the color that, that far. Okay, now with the same brush, I'm going into that darker brown. I'm just going to press it on right here and then I'll slowly kind of circle and blend it out here. I just want this to be a very blended, very easy, kind of effortless look. Okay, I'm using this Odinza brush to blend out the lower lash line and I'm just mixing both of those matte neutral brown shades, dragging them out like this. All right, now I picked up that beautiful shimmer shade on my little rougher brush. This is a rougher 02, and I'm just going to put this all over the lid. I want it to be very sparkle heavy, but I want it to be just a very kind of seamless blended look. Nothing overpowering you know I want it to be effortless looking with the sparkle so I'm just going back and forth we're just sticking to this quad of colors oh that's so beautiful oh Pat McGrath really I just really really like the brand all right I'm grabbing this MAC pencil brush we're gonna highlight the inner corner with that kind of vanilla shimmer shade. Pop it on just like that. And we do have a new eyeliner to try. I know this look is very simple, but like I said, since I did such an intense colorful look when I did my video on this Pat McGrath palette, I just wanted to show you that you can do something easy and light as well. Okay, I have a new eyeliner from Game Beauty. This is the Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, here it is. I'm like, it's not in the box. <laughs> I forgot I took it out of the box when I was getting ready to film. Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And this is the black shade. I was looking to see if there was a name. I don't think so. It's just a black liquid liner. So, let me see. Just see if I can draw a nice line i have used this a couple of times and i think it's nice it stays pigmented i personally prefer a brush tip applicator for liquid liner not a felt tip but this one does work well so i'm just going to do that just putting a line black line and I'm going to throw on some mascara. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to throw on some mascara, put a little black in my waterline, and I'll be back because we still have blush, highlight, and lips to do. Okay, I put on some of my one size mascara, and this is the finished look. I totally feel like you could do this look like I did a couple of minutes. It's done. It's an easy, effortless look. If you bought this Pat McGrath palette, shop your stash. It's not a hard look. It's not a super unique look, but I just wanted to show you something different with the palette. Now I want to go in. These hairs always want to stick out, these little baby hairs. They never want to obey, but <laughs> we're going to go in with blush. And I'm most attracted to this orange blush. And then I want to highlight with this highlighter right down here. Uh, looks so beautiful. So I think that is the blush in burnished glow and the metallic strobe powder in divine strobe light. I do have a trio. It's like the metallic strobe lighting palette. I think I love it anyways. So I was excited to see this highlighter formula in here. But I'm going to pick up this orange blush and go with it. Oh, that is a glowy, glowy orange blush. Like, do y'all see how glowy that is? Okay, and I may have picked up a bit too much blush. <laughs> but you can see just a little bit over here of that liquid blush from Lottie London peeking through. I just, I really felt like going in with a very pigmented blush, though. 
like a pigmented blush look you know I want you to be able to see it but this one's super duper glowy okay no blush or just the liquid blush to the blush you can see oh these hourglass blushes are pigmented okay okay just back and forth back and forth this is a Sigma brush by the way and just blending it like that that's pretty oh I feel great okay I'm just going to highlight the tip of my nose with the highlighter then because that blush is so glowy I don't really want to add a highlighter so I'm just going to use this on the tip of my nose right there on my cupid's bow okay I have this new gloss from Lottie London this is plumped af sheer plumping gloss in the shade batty pink so it's kind of it is it does look sheer this this is something I will say that I hope Lottie London will change the name is on this sticker and I looked at the liquid blush and the name for it was on like the peel off section um, because I have some other ones from Lottie London so once I like break this sticker or if you peel this sticker off you're not gonna have the name of the shade anymore I don't like that they should put a sticker on the bottom or print it on the bottle or something because like it's it's just gonna be very hard just to share the shade and I mean I can't really like I have to take this sticker off you know so let me say again that was batty pink and I'm gonna line my lips with a cola lip liner from Juvia's Place that is not a first impression that is something I have been using for a long time <laughs> Now, I do have a little bit of lip oil on. It's my Lunar Beauty lip oil. I like to use that to keep my lips nice and hydrated. But I am going to wipe that away now that we're ready to put down our lip product. I'm just going to wipe that off and lightly filling in my lips. Okay, lips are filled in. I love those Juvia's Place lip liners. Now let's try this Lottie London gloss. I want to know. Ooh, that's a really pretty like pearl color. And it smells like candy. Like gummies or something. Like those Welch's great, like Welch's gummy snacks, you know. That's what it smells like. I was curious since it says plumped. That it's a plumping gloss if it would tingle and burn but it doesn't burn that is a beautiful gloss okay that is a beautiful gloss it feels nice and not sticky it feels very hydrating oh okay i could see this becoming a new favorite it's early stages though so don't quote me on that but that's pretty all right, y'all, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you subscribe because these products that I'm testing and trying, I will definitely follow up in a few weeks and let you know what I think of them once I have tried a bit more. But everything on the skin, I think, looks super nice. Um, I do want to get another shade of this Revolution Cream Bronzer. This one's just a little too cool toned for my personal preference, but everything else I can keep you updated on on the future. I feel really pretty in this look. I think it looks really nice. Everything. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited that I get to wear this look for the rest of the day. I think it looks very cool, very fresh love the glowy skin but i want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a super awesome amazing fun fantabulous day whatever you're doing give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you want more kind of like casual hang out get ready with me style videos you can definitely let me know my lips are tingling just a little bit but it's not painful it's not overwhelming it's just a slight tingle if i'm like how do my lips feel I think they look beautiful though. I'm so into this. I keep looking at my skin and my eyes because I feel like it just looks so easy and effortless even though you saw that was a lot of steps. That was definitely not effortless. <laughs> but I will see y'all very soon in another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.
Thank you.